Oh, here we go. Hi there, tit watchers. I know, I know. I said that I was going to start uploading again regularly, but it's been almost a year and that's my fault. Having a kid has been wonderful, but my God, God, does it suck up your time. Not like the good old days when you could just fuck around and do nothing. You had all the time in the world. You could sleep in to whenever you liked and stay up as late as you wanted. And it didn't help that before Elon Musk took over Twitter, they decided to ban my Twitter account. Why, you might ask? Well, God forbid you disagree with the map flag. You know, that ridiculous piece of shit flag they came up with to support Pierdofils? fucking degenerates. But anyway, after appealing and appealing and appealing, finally, I got my Twitter back. Yoo-hoo! So anyway, if you want to check me out on Twitter, I'm back there again, posting regularly and completely and utterly once again sucked into the vortex of fucking crazy. It's been fun. So you might have been wondering, oh my god, tits, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you not posting? Like, what is taking up your time other than having a kid? Well, here's something I worked on for Bering's birthday a little while back. A crochet model replica of Bering sitting in his chair. I thought it was pretty cool. It took me almost a month to make. I posted it on Twitter and got really nice comments, which I really appreciate. So anyway, now that I'm back on Twitter and getting all the information again about about the fucking crazy shit going on in the world. I thought I'd talk about this one video in particular that I found. Some people are saying, oh, that doesn't look real. It looks staged, but it looks pretty genuine to me. I mean, I don't know why you'd go to such lengths to create such a crazy staged video. So anyway, let's take a look. Bring it on, bitch. Okay, so basically the gist of this video is that this Uber Karen has rocked up to some random guys, presumably her neighbour, rocked up to his front door out of the blue to get on his case about how he's always dressing his little girl in pink clothing and how that's fucking problematic. Oh my god. If that was me, I would shut the door in her face. I mean, mind your own business, stupid bitch. Okay, let's watch. Hey, so you've come to my house to complain about my baby wearing pink. I was just asking really why you keep putting her in pink and not other colours. Well, traditionally, girls often wear pink. Yeah, that's right. Traditionally, girls are often put in more feminine colours, pink, purple. And if you're saying, oh, this is a social construct, you know, the baby can't choose the colours that it likes. Bullshit. Let me tell you, from my experience of having a little girl who's just turned three, she's naturally more drawn to pink, purple. She fucking loves purple. I think that's her favourite colour. Every time there's a number of colours in front of her, she's just naturally drawn to purple. I don't know why that is, but there you go. Well, I think you'll find that was back in the day. I don't think it's today. I think you can wear any colour you want now. Yes, you can wear any fucking colour you want now. But the point is, the child is two years old. It's not equipped to dress itself yet. So, therefore, the parents are going to dress the child. And I'm sorry, but little girls look cute in pink and purple and more feminine colours. They look adorable. I think you also need to think as well, when babies are still very little, often it's very difficult to determine whether it is a girl or a boy. And so, naturally, the parents, not wanting people to make the mistake, dress them in colours which are more masculine or feminine. This is not a big fucking problem. One, one that you can, she... she uh... Just she uh, doesn't just she has she, she has other like clothes as well, but her favorite color is pink. There you go. Her favorite color is pink. Well, I've only ever seen her in pink, and I think that's not allowing her to have freedom of what, what gender she wants to be. What, she, freedom, what? freedom of what fucking gender she wants to be, lady. You're a batshit nut job. She's fucking two. She's not thinking. Oh, I wonder if I should be a boy or a girl. It's complete instinct at that stage. She sees the pink. She likes the fucking pink. Let her wear the pink. I like pink. 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 <laughs> And even regardless of what she might be drawn to, if the parents like her in pink, it's not your fucking business. Let her wear pink. Let them choose to put her in pink. Well, she like... She's a baby. She's not a baby. She's, she's a baby. She's two. 
think she looks a lot older than that to me. But anyway... No, she's two. Fuck off. Well, hold on What's any of your concern? Well, it's my concern because... No, it's, it's really not your concern. You don't know these people. You're butting into their lives with this bullshit. They don't need to hear it. You're just a nosy fucking Karen. Fuck off. Because I believe that the world has got better since we've got all this fluidity with genders and... OK. The... Oh, God, here it comes. The fucking fluidity with genders crap. There is nothing wrong with how things have run. There is nothing detrimental about putting your two-year-old child in either traditional boy colours or girl colours. Do you think that two-year-old is concerned about gender fluidity and thinking, oh, my parents, they're going to scar me in the future by dressing me in pink all the time? Because, you know, I really like doing things like kicking balls around and playing with Lego and scratching my invisible testicles. They don't think about any of this shit. You're crazy different types of genders now okay. and I think by dressing someone in pink if, if she doesn't want to be a girl when she's older she wants to be a tra or transgender or whatever then she'll have been dressed in pink and you would have confused her oh my god God! Did you hear that? If your little two-year-old daughter wants to be a transsexual or a transgender when she's older and you've been dressing her in pink, you would have confused her. Bitch! Yes, it. Bitch! She's two. She's not even going to remember this conversation to start off with. She's not going to remember being dressed in pink other than looking back at photo evidence of the fact that she was dressed in pink. And if you've raised her to be so fucking sensitive that looking at a photo of her in pink triggers her and seriously makes her blame her parents for doing damage in the off case that when she's older she decides to be transsexual or transgender or gender fluid, then you're a shit fucking parent and you should have taught her to harden the fuck up. Why don't you... Yeah, 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 harden the fuck up. So I think it's nicer to dress people in all different colours. I mean, she'd look beautifully in yellow, wouldn't she? Let's well, be honest. <laughs> well, yeah, she's wearing yellow now, hey, baby. Yeah, sure. If she likes yellow, then they'll dress her in yellow. If the parents like yellow, they'll dress her in yellow. But once again, it's none of your fucking business. I mean, who the hell are you? Get away from their door. I swear to God, if this woman came up to my door out of the blue and just... <laughs> blue. And just started lecturing me about how I dress my two-year-old daughter, I wouldn't be as accommodating as this man is. I wouldn't even engage in much of a discussion. It would pretty much end at, fuck you, get off of my property and take your bullshit opinions with you, bloody hag. I hadn't seen she was sorry. But she's got pink trousers on. Oh, not the pink trousers. Oh, what if she wants to be gender fluid when she's older and you put her in pink trousers? Hey, 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 at least they're pants, right? Oh, God forbid it was a pink skirt. That would be parental abuse. With rainbows on. Now, I do like the rainbow. I definitely like the rainbows on her trousers. Now, that's good. Okay. But... Oh, of course you like the fucking rainbows. Okay. No. Okay. Firstly, yeah, you're wearing pink glasses, okay? Ha! Pink glasses. I think you'll find these are mauve. Are you colourblind? Mauve. Something? These are mauve. These mauve. Are not... Oh, what a... Bitch. Oh, well, I think these are mauve. Are you colorblind? Mauve is like an offset of pink. It's like purpley pink. It's got a pink element into it. So stop being so fucking pedantic. What color are these, young lady? <laughs> yeah, she says pink. <laughs> Ah, the simplicity, the simple mind of a two year old child. Bitch, that's pink. <laughs> But they're not pink. They are mauve. Mauve. Mauve glasses. Oh, now she's going to lecture him on not teaching her the wide variations of different colours. You're lucky if a two-year-old can point out ten colours, let alone fucking mauve. How about you mauve away from my front door and get the fuck off my property? OK. So, so... And, actually, yes. they're blue inside. Yes. So, a little bit of pink, mauve and blue. Yes. I've got all the colours, you see. Oh, good for fucking you. Aren't you the champion of inclusive colours on your glasses? Sorry. Much healthier, much healthier for the brain, the mindset. <laughs> Sorry. There is nothing healthy about your brain. There is nothing healthy about your mindset to walk up to a complete stranger's house and lecture them about their two-year-old child. So, <laughs> I'm just a little bit baffled to, like, why you're actually here. Yeah, why the fuck are you here? I'm just asking why you keep dressing going in pink. I think you should give her more choices of colour. Yeah, yeah, OK, yeah. But she, she, how, however I want to dress her, OK, yeah? The way how I parent her is <laughs> nothing to do with you. Boom! Boom!
facts. Now, f f f f f f fuck off. Well, it is to do with me because I, I, I feel for people these days and I think they should have more choices. It's all about feelings, isn't it? It's all about the feels. Well, actually, it, it is my business because I feel for people these days. I f feel for your child and I feel like you're going to destroy that child's confidence when in 15, 20 fucking years later she wants to become a transsexual or transgender or gender fluid and her feelings will have been hurt by you, her parent. And I feel... <laughs> Like you should mind your own business, you bitch. And what colours they want to wear. Well, she's two. She's two. Well, I don't think it matters. I don't need to teach her about all this. She, she, what is right? I know. I'm like, what is traditional? Is she's a girl? I'm a boy. <laughs> she is a girl. I'm a boy. Oh, oh, I bet she loved that. Anyway, that's the end of that video. What a complete crazy nut job woman. In her head, she's like, I am doing society a favor here. It is my duty to go out and warn people about how they're damaging their children, about how they're living with an old school mentality, and they're actually being detrimental to the progression of society in acceptance of transsexuals, transgenders, and gender fluid people. You're a nut job. You're crazy. You need a hobby. Take up crocheting. It'll occupy your time. Take up anything. Take up masturbation. <laughs> it kind of sounds like you need it. Anyway, guys, so that was my first video back in, I know, for fucking ever, but let's hope now that the little kiddo's in kindy three days a week, I can find a bit more time and get more videos out. So remember to check me out on Twitter again. That's at sugar underscore tits underscore bear. Stop by and say hey, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Tits out. <laughs> tits.